Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the wild side of another common pet bird, the cockatiel. This gray and yellow bird is a popular pet not only for its plumage and personality, but also for its soft whistling song. Their vocalizations are much quieter than some of the other popular household parrots. One reason for this is that they don't live in the rainforest like many of their peers. As natives of the savannas of Australia, the cockatiels have less in the way of their vocalizations, and so their songs are still audible to the rest of their flock without having to be ear-splitting. This doesn't mean they can't be if they see the need to. Seeing as when threatened, the cockatiel will let out a defensive shriek, the loudest of which ever recorded came in at 123 decibels. That's as loud as the sound of a jet engine taking off. The other defense a cockatiel has is strength in numbers. Whether in a mated pair or a flock of hundreds, the wild cockatiel will almost never be found alone. There is a certain sense of community within these flocks. For instance, if a predator were to approach the group, they would all begin to mob it, screaming that loud, shrill cry until it flew away. The birds will also roost together at night. Since they need to sleep for a solid 10 to 12 hours to maintain their active lifestyle, the flock are mostly light sleepers waking up at sounds which they may perceive to be nocturnal predators looking for an easy meal. In the daytime, these sociable groups are nomadic, meaning that they fly from place to place and rarely settle for long. Their presence is dependent entirely upon the amount of food and water. The diet of the flock mainly includes seeds and berries, but the seeds of the acacia family are a true crowd-pleaser. The birds will also descend onto farms in large numbers, much to the dismay of the crop owners. However, their nomadic nature prevents this from being too widespread of a problem, as the flock will move on when interest in the feeding ground decreases. Their fickleness when it comes to habitat is reflected in their mating habits. Unlike many other bird species, the cockatiel does not have a designated breeding season. These little ones will breed whenever they like, but typically in response to periods of heavy rainfall, which will ensure that the brood will have adequate water to survive. Courtship is initiated by the male, who will sing a whistling tune to the female and fold his crest backwards. He will also hop around and bang his beak on objects to gain a hen's attention. If he succeeds, the pair will continue courtship by finding a suitable nesting site before mating. Being cavity nesters, the pair will look for holes in trees that are large enough to fit both members of the couple as well as their chicks. Eucalyptus trees are a common home, but any tree will do. Once the pair has found the perfect cavity, they will mate, and the female will lay her eggs at the bottom. The clutch is typically around six eggs, which will then be incubated for 20 days. After hatching, the chicks are helpless and blind, and it's up to both parents to shoulder the heavy responsibility of feeding and caring for the little ones. The cockatiel chicks will spend three to five weeks in the nest being fed by their parents as their feathers develop. As is the case with many birds, this period is very dangerous, and the amount of cockatiel chicks that die to predators or from underdevelopment is enough to drastically reduce the average lifespan. That being said, the cockatiel chicks face an equally dangerous foe, their own nestmates. After feeding time, opportunistic cockatiels will pump the beaks of weaker chicks in an attempt to get them to regurgitate their meal. This behavior has two harmful effects. Firstly, if the weaker chick regurgitates, it will go hungry. Secondly, the beak tissue is still weak during this period of growth, so this aggressive pumping can actually rip and tear the beak off the weak chick. This is an instance where human intervention can actually provide a much better quality of life, 
as human cockatiel breeders know how to recognize and discourage this behavior. After the dangerous fledgling stage, the cockatiels will be able to mate and raise their own families within a year. In the wild, they will live an average of 10 to 14 years, though the oldest known cockatiel was recorded as living up to 36 years. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about these blushing beauties. I'd like to give a special thank you to AJ 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 for suggesting the cockatiel, and remind you all that if there's a species you'd like covered, to let me know in the comments below. As always, my sources are in the description if you'd like to learn more. Until next time!